Labor Scheduler 2.0 helps you optimize your labor more than ever before. You'll reduce overall labor spend and improve that margin to dollar ratio. So how did we do it? It's all thanks to one amazing enhancement. It's called labor allocation, and it suggests ideal staffing levels based on your store's transaction history. Of course, you can easily achieve visibility at your stores using tools like hourly total charts, budget comparison, and automated alerts. But the real magic happens in the day by work type view. In the allocation section, you can see suggested staffing levels for each hour of the day represented by this blue line. This suggestion is forecasted based on your time of day and day of week transaction trends. You can even customize your forecast by site or by role. This includes seasonality adjustments, product category weighting, and including or excluding fuel sales. The role selection on the side allows you to toggle for specific staffing roles. With color-coded visual feedback, I can see the times where I'm understaffed or overstaffed compared to the suggestion. You can see there's something missing here. It's the fixed staffing requirement. You can fix it right here in the daily view. The daily view allows you to quickly look at your week, identify scheduling gaps, and resolve them. Labor Scheduler 2.0 also integrates with your site calendar, allowing you to predict and account for additional needs. The site calendar also shows approved time off for employees at the store and performs a validation check between time off and scheduled time for each employee. If there's a conflict, the schedule can't be published until it's resolved. When a schedule is ready to be published, each notification is displayed, allowing the manager to review before moving forward. When it's published, the schedules are distributed electronically to the employees, and the important notifications are sent out to inform supervisors and home office staff of any exceptions. Schedule smarter with Labor Scheduler 2.0.